Michigan. Set up inside the 10. Mikey Sandra's still. Biggest player You're hot. defense tonight. I know most of us here on this show, we're pretty bummed out on uh, the outcome with Washington. We're all rooting for the Pac-12 and of course, Washington just being in, in our neck of the woods here on basically on the West Coast and uh, was unfortunate there and with Penix Jr. But uh, I got, our next guest has got to be pretty busy right now. I mean, his, his Huskies just got out of the national championship. Pete Carroll just, just got let go in Seattle. Of course, the Saban news. And uh, Damon Hewitt joins us now on Fox Sports 910. Damon, it's a big crowd here. We got Rock, Manuch, Jimmy B. Appreciate you taking some time for us. Are people coming out of the woodwork calling you this week with everything going on in, in the Northwest? <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt about it. Uh, never a dull moment in, in college football. This year in pro football with eight openings. Uh, it is a crazy time right now. Uh, obviously, hopefully we can keep our coach in place, who's just been amazing here, 25-3, and three, I believe, uh, over the last two years. But uh, this is just football in this day and age and you know expect the unexpected but uh, certainly some pillars in the business uh, are done and uh, it's, football is going to be different going forward at both levels and also the fact that you played three years in new england so we got to talk to bill put bill belichick yeah, now being oh, being out geez. it's just crazy what do you think about a bill belichick coming up to seattle think he'd uh, he want to go all the way to the oh. other coast that's a stretch i know it's a oh, stretch. you know <laughs> He's such a Northeast guy. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if he'd like Seattle much. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's actually, we got some really good talent. You know, cap wise, we're okay here. I think in Seattle, good, not great, kind of middle of the row. Obviously, the quarterback situation, you know, a little unsettled. But uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised at the end of the day. He flirts with it a little bit and then just comes to the conclusion that, you know, what a run I had. And, no, I didn't catch Don Shula's all-time wins record, but Don ain't got six Super Bowls either. So, mm -hmm. well, I think Bill has more than that with his Giants one. So, anyway, it just uh, – the guy's unbelievable. I hope he kind of goes out on top because I think it would be so hard to replicate the Patriot way anywhere else in America, if I'm being honest. You know, Damon, you, you, you're you there. I mean, did, what did you absorb with – you got basically Belichick, you got Brady, you got that entire organization, which it seems like it's you know buttoned down day in and day out. But what do you take away with him? You think of of uh, Bill Belichick and the whole era you were there. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, you know, very difficult working environment as far as not so much physically, but just mentally. You know, he was very, obviously so cerebral and would challenge all of his players, you know, practice situation football on the meeting board on and on and on, whether you were Tom Brady or, you know, Lawyer Malloy. I mean, it was just every day you were on your toes, you know, in that building uh, with his leadership style. But uh, at the end of the day, as a player, uh, you so respected it because on Sundays we won. And um, there is a, a former teammate that uh, would, would tell you that in my time in New England that it was easy, but it was way worth it because we won. <laughs> and that's obviously the, the ultimate goal, especially at that level. But uh, certainly, he, he's the best. With the way that college football now has changed, with the portal, with NIL, do you and you you touched on this briefly? I'd like to have you expand. DeBoer's name is indeed being spoken around in all of the circles. Do you think that he would actually consider Alabama if they came knocking? I have no idea. You know, that's his decision. Um, you know, he's been here two years. He's had an awesome run. I think, obviously, he's, he's proven that you can get to the national championship game um, here at the University of Washington. And pretty doggone close to winning it. I know that final score didn't say so, but those of you who were watching, it was a seven-point game there in the fourth quarter. And right. you don't get off to such a slow start. Could have been very different. So, you know, I think his family likes it here. But Alabama is Alabama. Yeah. You know, sure. it's arguably one of the, you know, the be, be blue blood, then Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia. Um, but with that, you know, the pressure following Nick Saban, you know, living in Tuscaloosa versus Seattle, you know, it just, I guess he just, he's just got to ask himself, you know what, 
what would he want? But, you know, I, I sure hope he stays here. I have no clue what's going on behind the scenes. But uh, a great man. And, um, yeah, um, we certainly hope to retain him. And, and, Damon, you know, he came in there, and you mentioned his record, phenomenal record, that being Kalen DeBoer. What was it that he was able to come in and, and flip the script where several others prior to could not get Washington to the national title game? Yeah, I mean, I just think he was just so steady, so consistent. Um, his message, his creativity on offense. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I, I, the, the pre-snap moves and movement and shifting and then all the different personnel formations and all the things that these guys do, it just looks like a mess. But they get lined up at the last second. They've diagnosed what the coverage is. They call plays to get guys wide open. And the execution is unbelievable. And I think in this day and age of football, everybody loves offense. Mm -hmm. And what he's been able to do here, three you know, obviously got some good players, some older players. There's a big roster turnover next year, obviously going to the Big Ten. But, boy, um, I mean, he just got it done. And the defense got better over the course of the year. So it just kind of all aligned for just a magical season this year, although we came up a little short. There's no Husky fan that wouldn't tell you 14-1 and one and making it to that stage before the season started, you would take it. David, for you, Damon, how, how difficult is it to swallow that pill that the Pac-12 is toast after all of these years? Yeah, it's brutal. It's a crying shame. You know, this is uh, so much history, so much tradition. Um, hard, it's hard to believe, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, shame on, you know, the past couple commissioners for being too doggone patient and not getting something done because, uh, two. yeah, I'm going to miss all these West Coast trips and all these awesome rivalries. And, and certainly Oregon, SC, USC, UCLA are still in the same league. But just a crying shame for the Cougs and the Beavs, especially, you know, them trying to figure out and navigate their future going forward. I, I, I feel for them. I truly do, even though I'm not much of a cook fan, <laughs> obviously, yeah. but um, you know, it's a, it's a mess. I'm not going to miss coming down to the desert because we hardly ever won down there, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but certainly uh, it's just going to be strange. There's no doubt about it. I believe in five years, like everyone's going to figure this thing out. There'll be some commissioner, and we'll get this right as far as regional. I mean, it just this just is strange to me. We totally agree, Damon. Thanks for giving us some time today, but we really appreciate it. You got it, boys. Have a great day, Happy Damon. New Year. You too, Happy Damon. You are joining us here. You can follow him on Twitter at Damon wow. Heward as well, as he spends a few minutes with us today, as he's brought to you today by All City Towing. If you're looking for a new career this year, well, they're hiring. All City Towing continues to look for new people to join their team. Go to All City Towing and search careers. That's allcitytowing.com. Well, coming up, we need a contestant to challenge one of the young ladies here at Twin Peaks in Scottsdale. Take the fifth caller at 602-260-9191. That's 260-9191. It's our Twin Peaks.